statin, a generic brand of Zocor and one of the more popular cholesterol-lowering drugs, last summer was issued a new safety recommendation for dosages of over 80 milligrams. The FDA warned of elevated risk of muscle injury or myopathy, saying it should not be prescribed to new patients. The statins in general, and simvastatin in particular, often cause muscle aches, muscle pain, and ultimately it could be fatal. And that occurs when the muscles are so inflamed that they actually break down and the muscle contents get spilled into the blood and they go to the kidney and, and cause kidney failure. Zussman said physicians have known about the potential side effects for over 20 years, but the Food and Drug Administration did not release its warning until this past June, and many patients didn't find out until they were notified by a pharmacy. Team 5 Investigates obtained this CVS letter to customers with the FDA warning of increased risk of muscle damage and myopathy that could cause damage to the kidney and kidney failure, which could be fatal. Zussman said while that is very rare, patients should not ignore muscle numbness and they should contact their physicians before altering their regimen. Zussman said simvastatin has never been his first choice of cholesterol-reducing drugs. So personally, you do not reach for simvastatin first? I do not. That's correct. Why? Well, I think that there are other drugs that are more effective. Yet he prescribes it more than any other statin because of pressure from pharmacy benefit plans and insurance companies. When it went generic and the price dropped, there was a lot of pressure uh, to use it, to use it more frequently. Ironically, Zussman has not been contacted with the same intensity by insurers since the FDA warning was released. I haven't gotten the same sorts of letters that I got before to say, are you aware your patient is on high-dose simvastatin and it might cause a problem. For Team 5 Investigates, I'm Janet Wu.